नमस्ते जय हिंद एंड वेलकम टू दिस एडिशन ऑफ द राइट स्टैंड आई एम आनंद नरसिम्हन लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन द 1999 नाइनटी नाइन हाईजैकिंग ऑफ आई सी एट वन फोर हैज वंस अगेन कॉट पब्लिक आई थ्रू अ फिक्शनल सीरीज ब्रॉडकास्ट ऑन एन ओ टी टी प्लेटफॉर्म द ड्रामा सीरीज री ओपनिंग द वूम्स ऑफ एन एरा वेन हाईजैकिंग्स वर्ड बिकम द नॉम मोस्ट ऑफ दैम ऑर्केस्ट्रेटेड बाय द एनिमी सिटिंग ओवर अक्रॉस द बॉर्डर एंड इट्स आई एस आई इट्स एजेंसी दैट वॉज यूजिंग मर्सनरीज एंड टेररिस्ट आउटफिट्स टू ऑर्केस्ट्रेट हैवक एंड ऑल्सो मेक फ्लाइंग फियरफुल फॉर भारतीय सिटीजन्स नाउ दिस एंटायर प्लॉट वॉज हैच इन रावल पिंडी बाय द पाकिस्तानी आई एस आई सोल पर्पज ऑफ फोर्सिंग द भारतीय गवर्नमेंट टू रिलीज टेररिस्ट एंड वॉन्टेड टेररिस्ट इंक्लूडिंग द लाइक्स ऑफ मसूद अजहर हु टू और थ्री ईयर्स लेटर ऑर्केस्ट्रेटेड और मास्टर माइंडेड द पार्लियामेंट अटैक्स now also sajjad afghani was another one who was released of, uh, after the jail break at court balwal in july 15 1999 but uh, even as uh, this entire fictional series is mired in controversy over the depiction and perhaps the deliberate obfuscation of certain facts or glossing over or the attempt to glamorize the terrorists we are now joined right now in this exclusive conversation here on the right stand by mr anil sharma who was the cabin crew head of that fateful flight anil ji is joining us from switzerland at this point anil ji namaste thank you very very much you also authored uh, books uh, which have also highlighted the hijackings around the indian airlines flights and air india flights but there is a lot of question mark about this entire fictional series based on a book by captain devi sharma what do you think yeah first things first uh, it's based on captain devi sharan's book and uh, that's uh, what they have uh, um displayed it, at the very beginning mm. it's also based on my book uh, they say additional inputs from uh, anil sharma's book and uh, stuff like that now the basic difference is devi sharan's book is about ic814 my book is about 15 other episodes which uh, uh, featured ia aircraft from period 1971 to 90 Oh, uh, before but Kandar, that is. Now uh, the thing is, uh, yes, the, the memories are very clear. It was uh, something that I had never ever anticipated would happen because we've seen um, a lot of hijacks uh, take place from Delhi base, and uh, because Delhi has that uh, socio-political importance, and uh, but uh, it one never thought that one would go through that. Least of all, uh, you know, after a lull of five six years and. even though you know, crew all over the world now do get trained and uh, you know you're mentally prepared to deal with it but uh, this was uh, certainly very different it was also much longer than we had anticipated uh, we had only heard of uh, hijacks lasting about a that's uh, hijacks uh, affecting indian airlines aircraft lasting about a day or day and a half at the most and um, as one by one the days kept uh, rolling by you know they affected the mind the mm-hmm. body the um ability to um, see things uh, positively you know you were scared you were worried about what would happen to you to your family back home and i'm sure i was not the only one going through that mm. anil ji but some of the allegations include allegations of the attempt deliberate attempt to humanize terrorists and perhaps also gloss over the involvement of the ISI and Pakistan i think it's grossly unfair to uh, humanize them um, i mean whatever justification one might find you know uh, the thing is that uh, people of this kind who um, take a stand uh, artistically or otherwise what they forget is that uh, none of us uh, has uh, a deep rooted um unmanageable hatred uh, for uh, uh, people from across the border or people from other uh, religions or regions we need to understand that uh, you will obviously hate uh, the one who needs to be hated you know who's mm-hmm. done things which uh, are uh, they deserve to be hated you're not uh, there to have a permanently um, uh, uh, everlasting anger in your uh, mind against the thing so there was no need i mean i don't know what the makers would achieve by for instance uh, positioning a pakistani chap uh, speaking urdu uh, mm. and uh, saying that hamara mori ka tha hame bhi pata hai that nahi karta boss bahut se there so many muslims who are devout who mm. uh, do that 
in every religion they are going to be the same and in every religion if there's thing that i am very perplexed about and they didn't no matter what they did wo sharma sahab mere ko bolte the ya kuch karte the if they had to um, uh, on orders of somebody or for because the situation so uh, demanded they would have shot me dead in a minute that's yeah. true of everybody they would have dispensed with just so what human angle are we talking about and in this case uh, very uh, manufactured because they were nice they were nice to the hostess they were treating them uh, very respectfully one of the hostess my colleagues i spoke to said they were treating us like they said you are like a sisters and all that they were very pally with us but it doesn't take that away the fact that uh, they were on a mission to unhon khud bola tha ki hum to manne 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 ke liye taiyar hain hum karenge aap apna socho Hmm. So your colleagues say they looked at them as sisters, but the series portrays a certain level of flirtatious, romantic dalliance between one of the stewardess and also the terrorist. On the other hand, the officials are seen to be confused, bumbling, stumbling. Is that true? And at what point did you realize that there is an ISI Pakistani involvement in all of this? look we had at the uh, bureaucracy was when mr dogol came to address us uh, after the deal had been struck and we were just going to be released and um, the way he spoke you felt that here is a man who knows what he's talking about he said you were lucky to be escaping uh, um, alive uh, from a very very well trained dreaded outfit called lashkar e taiba so that's when we knew that uh, you know pakistan was involved and uh, we met mr vivek archu um, Uh, mm-hmm. outside the aircraft then we met some uh, guys from uh, mea we didn't know that they were because we met the same guys in the intelligence bureau later and uh, you knew uh, that they were doing a competent job and i have always maintained that uh, there are plenty of things wrong with our country if that is what you have to uh, talk about okay um, but it you can't uh, paint everyone with the same brush saying that oh they were all uh, i think this um series maker for reasons best known to them or maybe it suited them took the uh, caricature to uh, unbelievable limits you know uh, they i mean it's very hard to accept that uh, they were a bumbling lot that's one thing to answer the second question of yours that uh, were we aware uh, truly speaking initially we weren't uh, you know because they were uh, addressing the chief bola doctor this that and whatever and then they were uh, it's when we got to kandhar they started talking about kashmir there we thought they were, maybe they are kashmiris you know initially we thought that uh, because we didn't know what demands they had and uh, we also got to know that we were in kandhar uh, when we looked at the cutlery um, with um, afghani air uh, air in afghan uh, <coughs> right ma- markings on them but by and by in we uh, and because they were saying you know at times that hamare bhi bahut lashe padi hain kashmir mein so they were the impression we were getting at was that they were as i said from jammu and kashmir region but uh, later uh, it started uh, surfacing that uh, they were uh, seeking the the number of uh, hijackers uh, the number of uh, uh, terrorists, terrorists they wanted released you know we slowly had uh, um, news filtering and that they were uh, pakistanis so why we knew why would uh, anybody uh, from any other national be interested in achieving that for uh, pakistan and we were led to believe at lahore when they said you know we, um, we won't open the door and uh, you just get lost and get going the impression that uh, probably pakistan didn't have a role to play that but as i said uh, as the mm. events unfolded one got to get the impression and then it was made clear on the 30 30th and 31st that what it was uh, again coming to that event once uh, some we had a at least i had a uh, close uh, look at the bureaucrats and the thing i was pretty impressed later when one the cbi uh, entered because uh, and this i in, in fact i have forgotten in any mm. uh, i'm the first uh, channel that i'm talking about that they wanted the aircraft uh, identified so they took us to uh, bombay where the plane was being uh, um painted refurbished painted afresh to get it back into service hmm. and uh, th- later we went to the cbi office and uh, um, if i can share with you uh, the, we had a um, cbi officer who said that do you have anything else to say uh, or contribute or something i said no and then he called his steno 
Anand, believe me, I mean, this is the first time I'm speaking about this. And the, he narrated, he uh, dictated everything that I would have said. Now, isn't this brilliant? Yeah. That I was on flight so and so and I did this. Everything. So, you know, this is the kind of, uh, you need to believe in this. As an Indian, you need to be proud of such people that, okay, they did the results. Look at Israel, despite everything they did. Didn't they uh, face an intelligence failure? Who doesn't? Hmm. But why does it have to be highlighted in such a way that uh, the coming generation believes that they are de- dealing with a bunch of uh, dimpits or these guys uh, have no competence? Hmm. I am very sorry to record my displeasure the, a lot of the information is post facto now we know the identities of these uh, uh, terrorists these hijackers should they not have the makers put a disclaimer right at the start should they not have also highlighted the role of pakistan and the isi certainly i do believe that uh, um, i mean there are people saying we had uh, um, I was speaking to San- I heard Sanjay Lazar. He was uh, his family got wiped out in the Air India uh, Kanishka hmm. explosion uh, of the Irish coast, and uh, he also said that disclaimer is just a thin line, you know, which somebody may not even know about. And also, you know, I, there was another discussion that I was uh, watching on television, and there was this lady uh, called Ravira Bhardwaj. Uh, she's an actor. I understand. And she was uh, saying that, uh, no, it's a work of art and stuff like that. But when people, the other panelists became very, very uh, emotional and one of them was an ex, um, uh, Kashmir, ex, ex-Kashmir resident who had suffered because of the genocide and then there was Sanjay Lazar and there was a gentleman called Rishi Bagri. When they all uh, em- expressed their viewpoint very emotively, then Ravira went to the back foot and said, that, look, I didn't know. Now you hmm. think, we're talking about, um, she must be about 25, 30 or whatever that age group. She says she doesn't know about, uh, she didn't know about this fact. Think about the impact it would have on uh, people 25 years later, 30 years later, when they say Bola, Shankar, and all, oh my God, there were two uh, Hindus also among those um, hmm. five. And this when the, uh, it was so easily possible. I mean, uh, they've changed the name of the, the captain, the, the yes. co-pilot and uh, the flight engineer captain's name of course has been very cleverly kept close to the original one because uh, he's mm. a favorite of the script writers or what what may i say and there are plenty of other inaccuracies also which uh, i mean not expected of somebody who claims to be so highly acclaimed anubhav uh, sena is uh, the one i'm referring to and uh, the script writers or the research team did a pretty poor job uh, you talk about a lot of inac- in- all through the series. You talk about a lot of inaccuracies, Anilji. Can you highlight some of them? Your thoughts? What should be done going forward with respect to uh, policy? At a personal level, when I come out of the cockpit, you know, uh, you can compare it with the National Geographic uh, documentary, and uh, you know, guys uh, who are um, sort of taking it up for on behalf of the series, they'll say no, but that this is a docudrama or whatever it is. Hmm. They've shown me assaulted, you know, with um, blood all over my face or something, and then I'm marginalized for the rest of the. Thing. Maybe okay if it gives them, gets them more uh, uh, viewers. It's a very small sacrifice to be. Then they show uh, the guy boarding and asking for a glass of water. The uh, girl uh, takes out a small bottle, and yeah. small bottles were not invoked. Not that there time. at that time. Then you had uh, actual press people. Hmm. You, you are one of them who say that those lanyard uh, based eye cards were not uh, Us used yes. that time. So you know these sort of things uh, they uh, lead you to believe. Then the hostess getting slapped. Yeah. No houses was. Only my, the youngest uh, crew member, um, uh, flight person, the teach from Hyderabad, was still flying. He was. He was hit on the neck, back of the neck, and uh, pushed and his hair pulled and all stuff like that. Then going forward, uh, this plumbing incident, which is, uh, it's not known to everybody, but it's already been denied by the captain that uh, no, it's, no such thing happened. So he himself has been uh, made to climb down, you know. Hmm. And, uh, the role of the co-pilot and the flight engineer has been um, either glossed over or uh, presented in a distorted fashion. And then uh, uh, even at uh, Kandhar when uh, uh, the negotiators take over, Manoj Pava is, uh, is a good actor but his uh, 
uh, what he was called upon to do uh, in acting Mr. Doe's role is pretty pathetic if you ask me. Then uh, other actors are wasted. That's of course, these are not inaccuracies of my, of my observations. So uh, it, it all depends on. Mm. True. So let me ask you this. And I'm happy there has been a great amount of outrage about uh, this. I, I'm told they've already uh, and Netflix yes. has agreed to put out the um, names of the actual hijackers. Yeah. The Disclaimer at the top. Things yeah. which they should have known for. Uh, they've been in the trade for so long. Uh, Anubhav Sena has been in the trade for so long. The, the research team, if they don't know, they should be uh, uh, made to realize that uh, they've committed a grave error. You don't uh, talk about a historical uh, event of historical importance uh, in such a trivial way. True. Let me ask you this. Had their heart been in the right place, do you believe they would have done a better job with IC814? Most certainly. You said it in one line. <laughs> what probably people want and they take passages to say, yes, right. Spot on. So you agree? Well, Anil, well, Anilji, thank you. Thank you very, very much for speaking with us and for uh, putting out your point of view on this entire series. And somewhere, uh, the person who was the head of the cabin crew, the steward who was the head of the cabin crew on that fateful flight believes the heart of the makers is perhaps not in the right place. And what they have done now could have a very, very wrong impression, could create a very wrong impression in the minds of someone watching this two decades down the line. Let's get a move on.